the day we got it wrapped, we started going, mm, this doesn't feel doesn't right. Doesn't feel this doesn't right. Feel beautiful people we are off on a bunch a bunch of errands today we're going to go to the road to help Rebecca do chores while Justin is out of town so milking the cow and all that stuff and then we're going to Hickory Nut Gap to get good meats and then we're going to we're gonna go pick up more chickens today because I am the crazy chicken lady and I am the home for wayward chickens so we're gonna be doing that today too so we're gonna be out all day long Time for chores. Time for chores. So what's on the agenda today? So milking the cow, feeding the chickens, just normal stuff, easy stuff. Nothing crazy. Since Justin and Joan are gone and they asked if I'd help. Yeah, I'll help. Plus, you know, we get to come up here. It's yeah. Be it's beautiful. It is. So. Don't have to move anybody don't today. Don't have to move anybody, but the cows are way back on the hill, so I get to go wrangle. All right, get your exercise in for the day. Oh, good morning. good morning. No, not you. You gotta have your baby first. Wow, she's gotten good in the past year. Yes. She knows the drill. <laughs> Had a wonderful breakfast as always, and now we are here at Hickory Nut Gap, one of our becoming quickly one of our favorite places. <laughs> We've only been here once before, but now it's like, ooh, we can like we'll be up in that area. We'll be up in that area, so we're gonna grab us some good meats, mm -hmm. kind of stock our freezer a little bit since we're up here, and um, see if we can maybe get like a whole thirty approved lunch. We'll see, because it's like burgers and stuff. So we'll see. They might. I, I they might doubt it. Work. I hope so. <laughs> Obviously, it's the next day because we are wearing during clothing. <laughs> we it was really hot. So it was like, really hot. Time, was, time for shorts. Yes, uh, we did actually did not wind up getting home until about ten o'clock last night. So there was like no wrapping up the vlog at that. <laughs> why, why, child, are you in the live trap? <laughs> oh my word! Did you put him in there? No, he called it. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I keep saying that one's yours. <laughs> so anyways, we did not get home till late last night. The chickens that we got were transported in a live trap that is now a child. Apparently it's a Tra munchie trap. Oh my goodness, this kid. <laughs> so, we have our chickens. We have four new ladies. And they're, they're integrating okay-ish. Uh, they're a little bit older and wiser. Yes. And they have come in and established their dominance. Yes. Which they, they don't put up with much. We're okay with. Yeah. Hopefully y'all can see. Ooh. Okay, I don't even think you can see it's so dark in here. Let me grab that's the rooster that came with everybody. Okay. Real, real pretty rooster. Yes. Yeah, he, he does a, not like being held. No. What this kind is was Bob. he? Bob. He's a red docking. Red docking? Do dorking. dorking. Red dorking. Sorry. Really, really pretty rooster. And he's, he's very pretty. Very gentle. He is, but he is wounded, which we knew when we got him. Um, he had been Sorry. attacked by a dog the previous evening, right before we we were getting him. So he uh, might be on his way out. We're not he sure. He might be on his way out, but but we were fully aware of that. So we're just gonna take care of him best we can and if, see what happens. If he lives, cool. Yeah. If not, he's great. He's pretty, pretty old, so I know he hobbles around like an old man. So then we got two ostelorps and two two barred rocks, right? Yeah. Yes. And they're they're a couple of years old. They're like two or three years old. So we probably won't get like a ton of eggs out of them. No, but it, but this is like charity chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody need to get rid of them. So me being the woman that takes all the chickens was like, yes, yeah, so I will take your chickens. They'll have a good home here. I told her this afternoon, I was like, you realize there's there's like 20 chickens in that coop now? And she goes, wow, that escalated quick. 
You agreed to the roosters from Justin. Well, those are food. That was between you two. <laughs> so, anyways, yes, they have a new home now. They, if nothing else, even if they're not giving up a ton of eggs, we can put them to work. We need the tillage. Yes. A lot of people have um, told us to make a compost bin and stuff like yeah. that. The way I make compost is everything we get food scraps, uh, grass clippings, yeah. everything goes in the chicken run. Yes. And they rake through it. Oh, they, they do such a great job. And add manure. And then after it's dried out enough, it's basically dry manure. That was lightning. Yeah. Uh, dry manure in all the grass clippings and all the plant mm -hmm. matter and food scraps. I rake it all up and I make a pile and add water. Yeah. And in, I think my record was 16 days, I can get it to reduce by probably two thirds. Yeah. Uh, go from a pile that big down to a pile of that big of pure, beautiful compost. Yes. So I like the hot compost method and that's why I don't do the compost. Bit. Right. You just make it a works pile, great. cover it, like it works great. So we have chickens for working. Yep. They have a job, so. Yeah. So we have, Kind of a a confession. A confession. <laughs> you make it sound so bad. It's so dramatic. we just we need to talk about this. We need to talk about this. Yeah. We're gonna address it. We uh, haven't really known how to go about it because honestly, it feels embarrassing. I guess. Yeah. Uh, having so many people watch us and message us and stuff like that. So when we were getting ready to start this project and deciding what kind of siding we were going to do, we started looking at options. You right. know, we knew we wanted vinyl siding. We yeah. knew we wanted extra insula insulation. Right. We had decided we weren't going to go with two by sixes. And so the alternative is you have to beef up your walls. You have to add some Exterior material. Exterior insulation. Yeah. So. Because we didn't want to lose the square footage inside. Yes. by putting two by fours, which would give us a higher R value. Yeah. Yeah. So we looked, I found websites and forums. I found yeah, YouTube lots of videos. Research. Uh, both of us separately mm -hmm. came to the same thing. We found that you can put foam after you take your, your old nasty siding off, you can put foam up and right. then your wrap. Well, we headed that direction. That was the direction we started going. Yeah. We got the foam, we got our wrap, we got everything ripped off, we got it wrapped. And you guys saw that. You saw that. Yeah. And the day we got it wrapped, we started going, mm, this doesn't feel doesn't right. Feel this doesn't right. feel right. Yeah. Um, the foam board was not as rigid as we had expected I, I it to didn't, be. I didn't expect it to be rigid. Really? I just expected it I expected to be. Better. <laughs> so I guess long story short is when I started adding, you know, cross pieces to stiffen up the, the walls, walls, which we were going to do, was, we were going to do that regardless yeah. of whatever we put on the outside. Cause we're adding cabinets and stuff like yeah. that we wanted. So when I got to that working with the foam, I realized I didn't really like this. Yeah. I didn't like the way it looked. I didn't like the way it felt and thinking about putting insulation in, it was like, you know what? I, I'm not cool with this. Yeah. So we've also gotten a ton of messages from yes. you guys. Tons of messages. People concerned. People like, hey, what are you guys doing? Yeah. So, yeah, we know. We, uh, <laughs> we have also been second guessing. Yeah. So we reevaluated. Reevaluated. We sat down. Right. We talked about it. And we decided we are going to sheet it. So here, we'll show it. We've gotten one wall already up. Yes. Uh, when we put it up, there's still some stuff I have to do uh, that I needed access to. So we didn't put as many nails in. We didn't. Right. So I could take to peel the foam the back. Yeah, that, yeah. Stuff like that. And it actually helped. Worked out. We got all of our sheeting this weekend, and right. we started putting sheeting up. Uh, we had some friends. Come we had some friends come. That. Like wonderful help. Yeah. So it may seem like, you know, one well, step forward, two steps backwards. That's been a lot of this place. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we are overwhelmed right now with the amount of projects. And this is one of those things we didn't spend enough time planning, really planning and researching. And honestly, it was another one of those, like, if your gut feels weird, go with your gut. Yep. And we kind of just went with it because everything we found, like you had said was yeah, foam board and then wrap. And we're like, okay and then like like you said a lot of you messaged and were like hey we really don't feel like yeah. that's strong enough and you guys are right and it was like yeah we really need to reconsider this because this is not 
not as sturdy as we were hoping it would be. Honestly, there was a sleepless night. Like we're both sitting there. I was like, you know what? Why don't I go get sheeting in the morning? We'll yeah. start sheeting it. Yeah. And you know, doing it right. this way. Yeah. And you were like, okay, yeah, yeah. I, I agree. Cause I don't feel right about it either. Right. I'm glad we had to get out cause it was hot in there. <laughs> um, I am glad that it's wrapped in part, foam board. Part of the rush was it's been raining every other day, yeah. if not every day. And there were holes in that siding that we had, the, the chipboard stuff. In, any amount of sideways rain, it was coming inside. Right. And we've broken windows. Yeah, we had a couple windows like, that were broken. Just, and we have stuff in there. Like we have, our, like you said, our fridge, there's electrical, we have like school books and all that kind of stuff. And there's all storage. the stuff that, you know, isn't in the pods, right. stuff that we can't put in the barn, yeah. the stuff that we use that we don't want in the trailer anymore. Yeah. So we've been using this, you know, kind of getting right. used to the space. And so it was like, come on, let's like, get okay, it waterproof. We have to get it waterproof. And so honestly, we rushed. We did. And we rushed. We and rushed we... faster than we should have. Yep. So here we are. We get to. It's not gonna. It's not anything difficult to just peel back the yeah, stuff you did and pull that... off the styrofoam. Uh, we did that side just in an afternoon. Yeah, it was pretty fast. Just real fast. So it's kind of a pain. And I mean, as much as it hurts to admit that it was like, oh, I made a mistake. It always it always hurts admitting your mistake. It does. But hey, here we are. And hey, we've always said we are not a how-to channel. <laughs> we are not a how-to you know. channel. But we appreciate the people who did message yeah. us and were super cool about it. Like nobody like was rude or anything. Like everybody was really cool and just said, hey, we're really concerned. Thank you guys might want to do blah, blah, blah. The more and more we thought about it, it was like, uh, yeah. I think for me, when I started doing the cross bracing and realizing where I was going to be putting insulation, right. it was like, I, I don't like this. Push like, right to the wall. You know, a kid just goes, as kids do, you know, <laughs> rides a skateboard through the wall. Right. It'll go all the way through everything. Yeah. And the more I thought about it, it was like, nope. Yeah. We gotta, we gotta fix this. We gotta so, do this better. So. so here we are. Yep. So you have the OSB. We're OSB's starting to put all it here. Up, and that'll be this week's project. Yeah. This week's project, and yeah. probably into next week. And it's right. gonna be another busy week. It will be. And, you know, Sunday and Monday we're already spent. Right. You know, busy. Doing, going to the roads and doing so. tours and stuff. So, and then doors and windows and all that stuff so yeah. it's a process and it takes time but we're getting there and now we really know to trust our gut and go with things that we think are better yep. and, and always do more than you think you need to <laughs> so there you go guys that's it we yep. are gonna go eat dinner we're having spaghetti squash we're still on whole 30 10 days left going strong we have not vlogged as we much haven't as we we've just been like to. we uh we have eaten Whole 30 great. Meals, We've been doing great. And even going out and having Whole 30 approved. Yep. That worked out well. We uh we just haven't picked up the camera. We, you know, we'll shoot a vlog and then oh, we forgot to film dinner. Yeah, right. So Oh, well, you know how it is. You get busy like actually eating and then yeah. it's like, oh shoot. So anyways, that's it. Catch you guys on the next one. Bye.